Hey, blessings, blessings, prayer warriors on this Good Friday. It must have been a horrendous, horrible day 2,000 years or so ago. But boy, it is a Good Friday for us, for our rede redemption. And Redeemer has done all that he needs for us. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So on this seventh day of... Uh, April, right? Get your months right, Tom. And we're praying for Austria. Austria has identified a need for evangelism schools, a place to educate believers in outreach, disciples others, and living on a mission. Please pray for God to open the right doors and help connect our team with like-minded individuals to help provide leadership to this effort. Amen. So we're praying for Austria, population of 8.8 .8 million only 0.6% evangelical, and on your world map, it's number 68. Had people yesterday saying, hey, I got the world map now, so it's good. They're at the Welcome Center. We're praying for the state of Idaho. Idaho has a population of 1.7 uh, plus million. It's number seven on your prayer map, and they're about 21% evangelical Christians. Today, our prayer focus is sports, the sports realm. Amen. And then our Bible reading is Luke chapter 11, and we have the Lord's Prayer here. So why don't we go ahead and pray that as we begin our time of prayer today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great prayer that you gave us in Luke chapter 11, an example of for how we are to pray. And you said, and when you pray, say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Father, we thank you for all the points of this prayer, protecting us from the evil in this world, watching over our loved ones, providing for our food, watching us, taking care of us each and every day. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, on this Good Friday, we lift up to you today the men's breakfast this morning at 8 a.m., and then our Good Friday communion service at 7 p.m. And we just thank you for your blessings upon both. Lord, we lift up every Good Friday service that will be going on. And there will be many going on today. And we just thank you, Father, for people being born again. Saints falling more in love with you and love with their Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for all that you've done for us, Lord. We give you the praise and the honor. Father, we lift up the nation of Austria before you and the 8.8 .8 million people that live there. So few evangelical Christians, Lord. We pray for them and we pray for this work there that wants to develop evangelism schools to, so that they can send them out to disciple others. We pray that you give them the wisdom the strength and every need be met spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, and financially. And we thank you. Thank you for that. Today, Lord, we lift up the nation of Idaho, the state of Idaho before you. And we pray for this state in our United States of America. We pray for the population there of 1.8 million people and the evangelical Christians there, but also we pray for the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved. We lift up our country before you, Father, and we pray for the needs of this United States of America. And there are so many needs, so many needs. Oh God in heaven, we need you. Oh God in heaven, we need a touch from you. Oh God in heaven, we need to see your word go forth. Lord, as I was reading the statements of our, uh, of, from George Washington to Abraham Lincoln, and not just presidents, but other people from the early parts of this nation, 
and how every one of them said that we have to be dependent upon the word of God, dependent upon you. And now we have a senator who would literally say in the, in the Congress, we, God is not welcomed here. God is not wanted here anymore. Oh, how we have deprived ourselves, how we have gone down. Help us, Lord, help us. We pray for our world. We lift up Israel as they're, I guess, still celebrating Passover there, Lord. Not sure how it all works but over there, but with the time difference, but we pray for them. And we pray, Almighty God, for a touch upon the Jewish people, that their eyes would be open. Lord, as uh, Iran and all their proxies are stirring things up, especially at the Temple Mount, Lord, we know Israel is the hour hand. Jerusalem is the minute hand. The Temple Mount, Mount is the second hand. So we thank you that as we're seeing things going on there, in fact, someone was going to sacrifice a lamb there. Oh boy, so much going on, Lord. You can't make this stuff up. That's how we know your word is so real, Lord. Mwah, how we love your word. Lord, we lift up before you arts and entertainment in the sports realm, Lord. So many people are addicted to sports, be it gambling or just watching. Lord, as I was uh, sitting there watching the, uh, the movie on Wednesday night and just seeing young people not watching the movie, playing on their phones, playing games, and I think, oh, Lord, how this phone has now just captured a generation, even older people just captured us. I, sometimes I wish it would just stop, just stop. And people have to go back to the old way of living. Lord, help us. Lord, teach us. Lord, guide us. Lord, we ourselves, that we can shut that thing off and get our minds set on you, that we could shut the sports and entertainment off and get our minds on you. But we do lift up before you uh, baseball players and other sports that are in love with you and, and use it as a platform for you. And we thank you, thank you for this. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in and we pray for fellow brothers and sisters today. Lord, as we prepare our hearts for communion tonight, Lord, we say, oh God in heaven, what you did for us, we can't even fathom it. Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor has entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for them that love him. We lift up all these prayer needs. We lift up this day. I pray for these precious ones that are with me today, that we're a team, we're in the boat together. We're doing it for our Jesus. Bless them, I pray. Bless their families. If any of their children are going astray or even their grandchildren, that the right people at the right time will come across their path. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God is good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me this morning this afternoon, or this evening. I hope you can make it tonight. Good Friday is always a very, very special service, very precious in the sight of the Lord. It's precious to us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. See you this morning at breakfast or see you tonight. God bless.